llamo Jaime Dixon. Nosotros de aquí vivíamos sin agua. Good morning, friend. My name is Jaime Dixon. We, the people from here, lived without water. David and Joellen came here. And through their generosity, they came and started a health clinic and installed water tanks for many in the community. They came and gave scholarships for the students to study. They have continued to help the community by bringing different groups like doctors. Our friends from the United States have continued and shared many things with us, and for that, we are very grateful. Before, we lived very poor and we did not have anything. Thanks to them, they came and now we have our own water. They continued with the clinic, with medicine. Thank you for the water tank and the clean, healthy water that we are now drinking. Because before this, there were many diseases from the water and many children suffered from fevers. Before we drank dirty water, even water that smelled bad. When I had these children, there were no neighbors or family around to help take care of the children. I would wake up and look for water with two big buckets in my bag, I would haul water for me to cook. Because there was not a well close by, I had to go really far. It was hard on my belly and I lost the baby in a miscarriage. But now we have no problem. Now I thank God because we have water nearby. We have three wells now, very close, provided by these brothers who have come from far away from the U.S. to help with these water projects for this place. Before, when we drank water, there was not good water. It was dirty water, and we got sick. Now we have clear water, and now my family is not getting sick. My name is Belkis, Belkis Quiros, and I am the teacher of the Valle Grande School. In this community, there are approximately 110 inhabitants. Our principal problem always has been water. Water is our vital resource and we don't have enough of it. In my eight years working in this community, I've gotten to know the organizations that have made our quality of life better, bringing reserve tanks of water, helping us in our small communities that have been forgotten by government organizations and institutions. So two years ago, they brought the tanks. We have a tank here now. In previous years, other members of the community have benefited, not just the school, but in various homes, they've installed reserve tanks. Our communities feel totally grateful with this benefit, bringing us from a cruel past to a better quality of life. In past years when these organizations did not exist, members of our community died from many illnesses, skin infections, amoebas, and many other parasites. So thanks to all of you, your collaboration, the love in your heart, and your support has brought a drop of hope, of happiness to our lives. We thank you with all our hearts. Thank you. Once we arrive, we partner directly with Guaymi community leaders to identify the most needy in their community. Then we get to work. Since we're buying the supplies ourselves, we know that 100% of the donated funds are going directly to installing water tanks and drilling wells in the community. I'm Evan. I have been on the trip two times now. We want to train them and have them invest time and in trade for the time that they invest, we can give them a tank or part of a water system. Um, that way we're not just giving it out. They have to invest something and then they would feel more responsibility because they've put their time into getting it. We actually drilled wells. It's, a, it's an auger that you drive two people walk around in a circle and you turn it, it pulls about a foot of dirt, foot by four inches of dirt out of the ground and you one foot at a time you drill a well and once you start to hit water you keep going and ideally you go about as far as you can go down unless you engage rock or something impenetrable. We've got this hole in the ground. We take plastic pipe that we've cut perforations in. We slip this down as far as the hole goes and we put gravel around it. Once we've got that in the ground, we can now drop our pump down in the ground. You've got a well. My name is Charlie Hall and I am the immediate past president of the Stanwood Camino Rotary Club. I first heard about the Healing Fund and the Panama Outreach through uh, Ayla Fackenthal and a uh, presentation done at the Stanwood Camino Rotary Club. 
and I was initially thought uh, it would be an interesting trip to take, but uh, the, really the selling point to me was the opportunity to take my daughter on a trip and expose her to something that uh, you just can't you know, see every day back home. And I thought it would be an opportunity for father-daughter trip of a lifetime. It's pretty much what I anticipated from talking to everybody, that a lot of it is you know, extractions of teeth that are abscessed and things. It's something that's gonna stick with me and, and stick with, uh, I think the rest of my dental team this morning was our, our first patient this morning was a young gal. She had two abscessed teeth that needed to come out. They're infected and it was obvious. And so she did really well, but anytime you have an abscessed tooth, you never know whether it's gonna actually fully take. And we went through with it, but she was not a very comfortable child. And, you know, it was interesting to see the whole team come together. You know, I've got team holding her hand, you know, stroking her hair, you know, trying to make her comfortable and the mom helping out. And it was special in the way that the team came together, you know, and everybody supported everybody and, you know, everybody kind of pitched in and, and got the job done. Even though you really didn't want to do the job, you really didn't have a choice. You couldn't send the patient home and put them on antibiotics and have them come back in a week. You know, it was now or never. And uh, in the end, everything worked out. I, I think it's so far lived up to everything I had hoped for. And I think it really will be something that, you know, we'll both take with us for the rest of our lives. In terms of the Rotary Club and their contributions to this program, I, I certainly think in all the things we've done, you know, in the Rotary Club, you know, this is certainly one of the, the best things that I've been involved in. But this certainly is a worthwhile thing from an international standpoint that we're, that we're doing here. I think, you know, the dollars that we're contributing to this program are, are well spent. So, yeah, I, I'd certainly like to thank the Rotary Club for their contribution and hope to continue the support as well. I'm Samantha, I'm a sophomore at Sandwood High School and I came here with my dad, he's doing dental work and I came to assist him and learn about that. Today we went to an island where it was pouring down rain and I was handing him instruments, I learned so many names for different instruments, I didn't even know they existed. And we were pulling teeth on some children, lots of children, and I think we helped a lot of people. It hasn't been easy but I have liked it a lot and I would probably consider doing something like this again. It's life changing absolutely life-changing. You will see things you can't see here. I can tell you that. I would say to someone who might want to come down here is do it. It's a huge blessing and it's a huge eye-opening to truly see what real poverty um, looks like. It was kind of a realization you know as a teenager to go there and then just like you were doing something outside of yourself and I think a lot of teenagers they need to like experience something like that, go and do something not for yourself but for someone else and you have no benefit for. It was, it was such an eye-opener because you know up here it was you know you're very like you know, it's all about me you know my nails and just like you know all that and, but down there they have nothing. I can't put into words how neat it was and and just how uh, you think you're giving, but you end up getting so much in return. And you don't go in the intent, uh, in the expectations of getting anything, don't get me wrong, but it was just, uh, I don't know, I wish everybody had a chance to go. And I, w I, I wish everybody who even has a consideration um, to do it. it uh, it's all that, it, it really, really was.